Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna have a look on the Bitcoin price, what is going on right now, because nothing much has changed since uh, yesterday. But before we start my friends, a little nice thank you very much for you my friends, because we hit yesterday a record, we had over 600 views and also over 50 likes, so thank you very much for smashing that like button and let's see if on this video we can also reach the same amount of likes so please my friends smash that like button and if you don't smash it then smash anything else you want but do something and now let's start with the content my friends and we can start here with the four hour because as you can see right now Bitcoin is still holding the support that we have currently at $16,000 and we're gonna have to see once the markets are going to open again the stock market and also the CME what will happen here with the price because in my opinion it is still very likely that this week we're gonna see some very nice volatility coming back and that could be of course a very nice uh, trade opportunity because here in the CME chart you can see that we could be in this rising wedge that here we still have to break out to the upside or to the downside unfortunately those kind of patterns are bearish patterns that trend to break out to the downside but since we are in an uptrend there is also the the chance that Bitcoin just continues to push higher here but this is what we're gonna have to see once we're gonna open up the CMEs again so that's why if you're still waiting to enter into a trade to wait for the CMEs to start again before entering a new trade because here currently in the four hour you can also see that we're bouncing from the 50 level in the RSI which of course is still bullish but the problem is that currently we are trading below the 9 and 20 moving average in the four hour time frame and usually when you see the 9 moving average crossing the 20 here in the four hour time frame we always see a big lag to the downside so always a little dump and that's why I think there is a very high chance that from here on if we're not able to close again four hour candles above $16,100 that we will see continuation to the downside but a potential bigger correction at least towards $14,500 so the previous resistance which now should be new support and if we have a look into the daily time frame you can see that currently we are still trading above the nine day moving average so far we had a close above the nine day moving average right here at $15,700 if we're gonna have a daily close below this price level then be prepared to see a correction down here towards this $14,500 area where also the 20 daily moving average is lining up and I think we still could see this correction coming up this week because we are still very overbought in several time frames and we could see a correction at least towards this price level potentially even lower and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band in the daily, currently you can see that we are still trading here on the upper area, so on the bullish side, and we should expect continuation to the upside. But you see that also here the MACD and KST could have a bearish cross pretty soon, especially if here we're gonna have a first daily close maybe below $15,700. And once we're gonna have a daily close below the nine day moving average, I think from there on we could consider maybe to open up some shorts to multiply our tether and Bitcoin on the way down and then of course swap it back into a long position once we're gonna bottom out somewhere and at least here the 20 daily moving average at $14,800 in my opinion will be tested pretty soon if we're gonna start to have a correction from this point of time and of course we could be even falling lower towards the bottom here of around $12,500 but this is what we're gonna have to see once we're reaching these levels here and if we are reaching down to these levels because of course Bitcoin could still be heading to new levels even break this 20k all-time high that we still have before maybe having a bigger correction but since right now we are building up here a bearish formation and although we are still very overbought I think it's about time maybe to see a correction and this will also coincide with Black Friday most likely so let's see if we're gonna have some nice 
nice sales here also in the Bitcoin price so we can buy even more and getting ready for the next big parabolic bull run. And before I gonna wrap this up, I want to show you the hash ribbons, my friends. It's been a long time since we didn't check the hash ribbon. And as you can see, currently we are still in red here. We still had this minor capitulation and I will also keep you updated here once we gonna have a buy signal over here because usually when we have again a bullish cross or the buy signal is flashing, this is usually always a good buy and long opportunity and I will keep you updated once this signal is flashing again bullish. So as long as we are in red here I'm expecting still some very high volatility also to the downside. So make sure that you're subscribed here to the channel so I can update you once we're gonna have a buy signal also here in this indicator. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Go out and enjoy your Sunday. And if you have a bit of spare time left, then check out all the links that you find down below here in the video description, especially if you are new in the crypto space, because with my links, if you sign up to those exchanges to buy cryptos, you can get even more bonus and rewards using my invitation links down below here. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.